Kids are going to be back in class in just a few weeks. Is a smartphone on your back to school list? Kids are getting these uh, fancy phones as early as first and second grade, but a new parent back Bush is asking families to hold off until eighth grade. Mom behind the pledge says parents cave before then because, well, everybody has them. You don't want your child to feel left out. Parents can go online and sign up for the wait until eighth pledge. Doesn't become uh, public until 10 families at the same school sign up. So you kind of have a support system in place at your school. Parents can still get their kids a phone for calling or texting, but the idea is to keep them off of the full on smartphone. Interesting. So I have a 12 year old, <laughs> and we got him his first smartphone at sixth grade, the summer okay. before sixth grade, because then it's off to middle school. Mm -hmm. And we wanted him to be able to, uh, you know, go for bike rides with friends and be able to contact us. Let you let you know he got there safely. Yeah, I will say uh, I have very mixed feelings on it. Now he's on. We're always fighting him to get off the phone, yeah. right? You're on the. You're and it's not that he's texting. It's well, that so he's on you Instagram videos? and YouTube and watching. So videos. what do you think of this idea of okay, you can have the call and the texting phone, but not the smartphone? You know, I think that's enough. I think that's mm. probably enough. In retrospect, like I feel like that would have How been. How do good you enough. monitor everything he's doing? That would be my concern. With who's texting? Oh, what kind of images are they are they texting? Like <laughs> all his social media comes to my phone, okay. so I see everything. And well, that's then good. text. He has to leave the phone downstairs when he goes up to bed. Mm -hmm. So that's when my wife, boop, beep, boop, boop, right in yeah. there to see what's going on. I was that's actually even thinking yeah. about dating. Like, as a young person, if you have a middle school age daughter or son oh, yeah. or even high schooler, normally they call home. Well, now they can call the person directly. And how does that affect monitoring of even that? Oh, sure. Oh, that's right. all very different. I Just like the idea of banding, like, because you don't want to do it together. The one left out. So yep. I like it. I just don't know that it's realistic. I know. Eighth grade is. It's a long time, but yeah. I, I get it. I get My it. first one was going into middle school, too. Middle school, yeah. too. Yeah. We want your feedback. When do you think kids should get their first smartphone? Share us your thoughts on Facebook or comment on Twitter, and we'll share some of those coming up. Christina says on Facebook, it's a personal preference. I always said I would not get my daughter a smartphone this young, but when she started giving out my number to all of her oh. friends, and my phone was going berserk with calls, texts, FaceTime all summer. I decided it was time. I mean, that's a pretty smart move. Yeah. Janine said, if my child hadn't had the phone I put in their backpack that they rarely even use, they would have never been able to reach me that one time they desperately needed to. Will never regret giving my kid a phone at age six and eight. I still think, what if I hadn't? And here's Rose with the idea that I think makes a lot of sense. I don't even think eighth grade is a good age for a smartphone. I switch my kids from a smartphone to a flip phone. They can text and call. That's all they need. She said there were just too many temptations around, and mm. then she just said too many words, so we just yeah. smashed it all together. So thanks, everybody, <laughs> for your feedback.